Santo Tomas University, Jap prison camp, opens its gates to 3,700 internees. Hard-driving American forces sweeping the enemy from Manila, free men, women, and children held prisoners during the three years of Jap occupation. One of General MacArthur's first missions is to call upon the happy internees. <laughs> The American Army moves in. Signal Corps cameras record the happy day. During the General's visit, Jap forces still in the city train their guns on the university. Many of the helpless internees were wounded by the enemy's fire. Of those liberated, the adults show all signs of malnutrition. Mothers and fathers fed their children most of the meager rations furnished by the enemy. Fuel for cooking and warmth is very scarce, but these undernourished heroes find strength to complete their tasks. Some of the people live in thatched huts, and now with the addition of American army food, their lot is more cheerful. One of the finest things about freedom is news from home. The Red Cross, serving our unhappy people held by the enemy in all parts of the world, handles messages from friends and relatives in the United States. Red Cross field workers are nearly overwhelmed by the crowd, eager to have word of the homeland, the homeland to which they will soon return in glory. Thank you.